Welcome to Singularity Vault, where we unravel the mysteries of science and engineering. Today, we're delving into the world of liquid salt thorium reactors, a technology with the power to transform our energy future. But before we begin, be sure to subscribe to Singularity Vault and hit that like button to stay up to date with our latest explorations. Now, let's dive into the fascinating realm of LSTRs. Are we on the brink of an energy revolution? Could we be about to solve our insatiable appetite for power without the environmental damage? Energy, the lifeblood of modern society, has been at the heart of some of our greatest achievements. But it's also presented some of our greatest challenges. We've split atoms to create nuclear power, harnessed the wind and the sun, and dug deep into the earth to extract fossil fuels. However, each method has its drawbacks. Environmental impact, safety concerns, and sustainability issues, to name a few. The continuous burning of fossil fuels has resulted in an atmospheric carbon dioxide concentration not seen in over three million years, causing irreversible damage to our planet. The sun and wind, while renewable, are intermittent sources of energy and require extensive infrastructure to be effective. Enter nuclear energy. It's potent, capable of powering entire cities and carbon-free, but it's not without its drawbacks. Traditional nuclear reactors while producing massive amounts of power, also produce hazardous waste that remains radioactive for thousands of years. And let's not forget the potential for catastrophic failure as seen in Chernobyl and Fukushima, but what if there was a better way? A safer, cleaner, more sustainable way to harness nuclear energy? Welcome to the world of liquid salt thorium reactors or LSTRs for short. LSTRs are a type of nuclear reactor that use thorium, a naturally occurring mildly radioactive element as fuel. Unlike traditional reactors, LSTRs can burn old nuclear waste, reducing the amount of hazardous material left behind. They're also inherently safer due to their design and could potentially provide a virtually limitless supply of clean energy. So, are LSTRs the answer to our energy conundrum? Could they be the key to a fossil-free future? It's a fascinating topic and one that could revolutionize the way we think about energy production. But there are challenges to overcome and questions to answer before this technology can become a reality. So let us delve deeper into the world of LSTRs, a potential game-changer in the energy sector. Imagine a world where we can harness nuclear energy without the risk of meltdowns or the generation of weapon-grade byproducts. Welcome to the world of liquid salt thorium reactors, or LSTRs for short. Now let's delve into the technical workings of LSTRs. Picture a nuclear reactor, but instead of using solid fuel rods like in traditional reactors, LSTRs use a fluid fuel in the form of a molten salt mixture. This fluid fuel contains thorium, a naturally occurring element that's three to four times more abundant than uranium. What makes this fluid fuel so special is its ability to reach high temperatures without the need for high pressure. This eliminates the risk of a high pressure explosion, a safety feature that sets LSTRs apart from traditional reactors. But that's not all. The real game changer lies in the thorium itself. When thorium absorbs a neutron, it transmutes into uranium-233, a fissile isotope. This uranium-233 then splits, releasing energy and more neutrons, which continue the cycle. So, how does this differ from traditional reactors? Well, conventional reactors use uranium-235, which is not only scarce but also produces plutonium-239, a dangerous byproduct that can be used to make nuclear weapons. Thorium-based reactors, on the other hand, produce a negligible amount of plutonium, reducing the risk of nuclear weapon proliferation. Now remember the old nuclear waste we mentioned earlier? Here's where LSTRs truly shine. They can actually burn old nuclear waste, transforming it into a less harmful substance and reducing its volume. This not only provides a solution to the nuclear waste problem, but also further increases the energy yield of the reactor. In essence, LSTRs could provide a safer, more sustainable alternative to traditional reactors. But what is holding them back? The promise of LSTRs is immense, yet their adoption is far from widespread. Why is this revolutionary technology still on the sidelines? Liquid salt thorium reactors, or LSTRs, have the potential to revolutionize our power systems. They are highly efficient, producing far more energy per unit of fuel than traditional reactors. This efficiency is not just limited to energy output, but also extends to the consumption of nuclear waste. LSTRs can burn old nuclear waste as fuel, reducing the environmental footprint of nuclear power. Furthermore, 
LSTRs offer a safer alternative to traditional reactors. The use of liquid salt as a coolant allows for operation at atmospheric pressure, reducing the risk of explosions. Moreover, the inherent safety features of the reactor design such as the freeze plug and passive cooling systems ensure that even in the worst-case scenario of a power failure, a meltdown would be avoided. Yet, despite these benefits, the journey to a LSTR-powered future is not without its challenges. Technological hurdles persist. The high operating temperatures, while beneficial for efficiency, pose design and material challenges. Additionally, the corrosive nature of the liquid salt coolant requires the development of corrosion-resistant materials. There are also regulatory issues. The nuclear industry is heavily regulated and introducing a new type of reactor requires navigating a complex and time-consuming regulatory process. This is further compounded by the fact that thorium is not currently recognized as a nuclear fuel in many jurisdictions. Finally, there's the challenge of public perception. Nuclear power, despite its potential, is often met with skepticism and fear. Educating the public about the safety and sustainability of LSTRs is a crucial step in gaining acceptance and support for this technology. The road to a LSTR-powered future is riddled with challenges, yet the potential rewards make this a journey worth undertaking. So as we venture into the next frontier of clean energy, let's remember that the path may be tough, but the destination is nothing short of revolutionary. So how close are we to seeing this game-changing technology become a reality? The current state of liquid salt thorium reactors, or LSTRs, is promising. Groundbreaking research and development efforts are in full swing globally, with a particular focus on safety, efficiency, and waste management. Innovations are being made, and we are seeing significant strides towards turning this concept into a tangible source of energy. Some experts believe that within two to three decades, we could see LSTRs becoming a common energy source. However, this is dependent on several factors, including overcoming technical challenges, securing necessary funding, and achieving societal acceptance. Promising developments include the successful testing of smaller-scale LSTR models and continuous improvements in waste management strategies. These advancements suggest that the future of LSTRs is not a matter of if, but when. While the LSTR revolution may not be happening tomorrow, the progress being made gives us hope for a cleaner, safer energy future. Thanks for tuning in. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Liking and subscribing helps the channel grow and tells the YouTube algorithm to recommend our videos to others. Keep exploring with Singularity Vault together. We're unlocking the wonders of science and engineering.